Hello everyone. So if you're getting a printer spooler error message on your computer, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can fix it. So first of all, you want to go to printers and scanners. I'm using Windows 11. So in the search bar here, you can just type printers and you're going to get printers and scanners. Just click on it and it's going to open up the printers and scanners page. You can also go to start, click on settings and on the left side, click on Bluetooth and devices and printers and scanners are here so i'll click on that so here you will find a list of your printers now i have more than one printer here so i'm going to click on one of my printers cc i'll click on that you're going to see run the troubleshooter click on that and this is going to troubleshoot the printer problem it's going to check the spooler services and it's going to fix any error that there may be so when you do that you can also test your printer and see if it works if not you want to go to services so you want to go to search and type services and this is the services app click on it so under name all these are listed by alphabetic order so just highlight anyone and type p so you want to look for printer spooler so this is it printer spooler so if this is not working it will say stopped so what you'll do you can double click on it and it says startup type automatic it must be on automatic so if it's disabled or manual you want to keep it on automatic and you want to start it you can also stop it and then you can start it back and click apply click ok and what you can do you can restart your computer and you can also restart the printer and then you can test the printer so in the printer and scanners page if you have more than one printer you can also click on each printer and you can run the troubleshooter so another good option that you can do you can update your printer drivers so when you're in the printers page you want to select your printer and click on printer properties click on advance and click on new driver now you have to download the driver from the web if you have an HP or Lexmark you have to go to their website and download the drivers so you can click on new driver click next you can also use Windows update but this is going to take a while so if you download the driver maybe the basic you can click on half disk and then click on browse for the driver and then click OK. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.